can you use blockchain to deter or even prevent land fraud? So, to put put things in perspective, Samriddhi Foundation in 2017, I research, what they found is Nepal land dispute around 4 lakhs of land disputes. Okay? For the size of the country, it's a lot. There is land fraud. Suppose right? fraud, I know that there is a dispute between you, right? So I am sure pretty significant number of land fraud is there. So there is a dispute between you, problem by you, because that shows how bad or inefficient the existing process is. Oil, I am somewhat cut from lower couple of cities are somehow digitized, but a little record, I know, but a process not fully. Only that most of the thing is. Uh, Lal Purza, paper based, whole transaction, you know, paper based exists. And there are so many points, corrupt or mistakes, there are so many points along the way, every land code transaction. But why they don't go digital fully? Until, if, until the, digi the digital process gets really, really secure, it's actually worse to go digital. Like Lal Purzama, ki unsa wani theo signature unsa stamps unsa ki unsa. It's very very difficult to force. I mean, it's not impossible. You know? Or if there is no due process, plus if few people becomes corrupt, it becomes very easy to get you know uh, you know force that whole document. The digital guy wani it could just be copy paste. So in order for parna to go fully go digital, we have to you know really have a good check and balance in the digital process. Or the advantage of digital Gujani is and earthquake man uh record dis uh, destroy by record destroy maybe tell your total number of you know disputes increase by record you know, because there's no record to be found and everybody's claiming everybody, every everything. So your process like what's the next step? So next step is sappaikura like digital land the parts of parts are, so because it makes it more efficient but at, the, at the same time we have to really secure the process okay? so that no person in power like be that Malpatko low level person or Hakim or database administrator or even Mantri, Raja, everybody you know you know something that two person Ramro man say but no honest man say only one that's China there there would be person who could be corrupted once in a while so you you prevent the like the best way is to just take the power away from that position you know, and give that to math which is basically computers so so and blockchain is trying really trying to do that you know. so subway digital record line we what the, what blockchain is trying to do is secure it no one person can change the record once it is written so blockchain now one of the key feature of blockchain is it's called immutable. What it actually means is, once a record is written in the chain block, then it cannot be, you know, overwritten or deleted and, you know, rewrite a new things in it. You can only append it at the end of the chain. So basically, it has a proper, proper security mechanism that, you know, if some mistakes on a success, the record are but you have to append it with a new, new record. So that way, the digital record, one land, land ko basically the digital title, one person ko ownership ma rakhi rasa bani, ownership ma tiger rakhi rasa bani, blockchain will help it secure it really well. So once it is, you know, we call it in blockchain ma, okay, your particular title is owned by this particular address which represents a person or owner. Ani, this was he say, uh, this was he say, what it is, and every transaction would need that owner's permission. Eh, so this might say you have a private key one here, but we can make it much easier, right? Now, like let's say maybe one they would have a QR code, bunsa or key unsa, private key, what person can put it secure. The man say exactly mother secure number side, we can have multi-signature, and it's a witness and that person owner racker, we can use that to transfer the 
deed or transfer the title to another person. So basically, blockchain would be able to do that. But I'm not the subway digitalize it. So that you use called a prerequisite. Almost all the process digital one is possible. You should you cannot have a weakest link. Wherever there is a weakest link, wherever there is a manual process in 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 this transaction, I mean land ownership transfer transfer of transaction, whatever that might be the place like point where things can get you know uh, corrupted. Or have a mistake, like you know, the innocent mistake can be made. So, they were everything needs to get digitized, so that it makes process more and more efficient. And at the same time, it will make it more secure. And blockchain, ma, it's basically two plus two five no matter what. You know, you can't you can't have two plus two five. This means it's algorithmically secure. Got right here also. So engineers knows how to do it, right? So like most of the technical, technical, technical things, we leave them and then we just trust them uh, how it works. Tara, anybody can verify that all algorithm. It's open source. It's out there. Uh, so that's that's another thing. At the same time, our cosary court life is also. Our court life, four lakh or record, zana zana day, but our court co, iti there is time, resource, money used by us. So but once court says, you know, court ma gara if you dispute two plus two five, but never need that, you know. Court says no. Just go math. There's a way to prove it. Court would do that because court trusts that particular algorithm. This day, your blockchain algorithm. Once court start trusting the blockchain algorithm, how it secures the thing, the court would just say, okay, that land is owned by that particular person. It's written in blockchain. These other transactions happen. If there's a mistake, they can always trace back where the mistake happened and what happened, and then court can fix that mistake if possible, you know, with authorized person. Only if not, then it's right. You are the owner. You are not. Court can literally decide within five minutes, or other within five seconds, if it is an automated system of court invention. Only quite a time, quite a money, quite a use. I'm just a country man. A lot of amount of money save save ones. Okay, so that we can use those resources in proper, like you know, really important cases. So, so landmark or land lay or whatever. You have to pre-reg the land, we need to pre-reg the land, we need to pre-reg the land, we need to pre-reg the GPS coordinated, right? And the process of the bank or lien, all of those that actually plays a vital role in land transaction, right? A lot of things have become digitized. So this way, I think this process will happen. So eventually one day, what can we do in the case? Once the you know once everything is digitized and once this you know, ownership is very 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 secure, then you might not even need to go to Malpo to transfer the land. You can just transfer like what like you know if you want to transfer to person B, you just say hey what is your address or uh, to own your own this land. So give me money or whatever thing that you you know that is we are exchanging with. I'll transfer you the land code title to your address, and from within like seconds, we can do all this transaction, land transaction. So that so it's not just secure. What they're doing, okay? Whole the process happening, एकदमे आह एकदमे efficient रा fast बनाऊँ सकते blockchain ले. So that's how you know fraud could be prevented too. Thank you.